Hello everyone, I'm Trey Zipper, founder of HonorYourDNA.com. Our old cemeteries all across America, the burial places containing the remains of your ancestors are in trouble. And together, we as Americans are going to do something about it. Millions of graves have already been lost, and every day we're losing sacred ground. What you see on the screen is an example of what happens when the old person who mows a cemetery passes away. Beneath that fallen tree is the grave of a Civil War soldier who fought in more than 38 major battles, places like Bull Run, Fredericksburg, Antietam, Chancellorsville, Gettysburg, the Wilderness, and Appomattox. Take a look at this dog cemetery in Michigan. This place will move you literally bring you to tears. It's incredible what they've done there to honor American service dogs. Just look at the decorative entry archway, the manicured grounds. They don't have just one flagpole for these dogs. They have at least 16 lighted flagpoles, all with brand new, crisp, brightly colored American flags. They have massive granite monuments, laser etched with historic photos of dogs in action. This is a historic human cemetery located within a luxury gated golf course community in Lee County, Florida. You see that white headstone back there in the brush? That's the black algae covered marble headstone of a United States Army veteran. A few feet away is a brand new lighted tennis facility, but I found no lighted flagpole for this American soldier. And why should we, as American citizens, spend money on a silly old lighted flagpole? Wouldn't we rather play tennis? Why should we make an effort to fly the stars and stripes over the grave of a man who served our country as a Union soldier during the American Civil War? Ponder that. These sacred places are God's ground, hard evidence of our past. And I believe every American will agree these hallowed plots are worth saving and protecting with a respectable level of care worthy of our ancestors. Let me show you what I knew about my family tree two and a half years ago. Felt pretty good about myself knowing the location of five cemeteries containing the graves of my father, two of my grandparents, and five of my great-grandparents. I had never paused to acknowledge the existence of my ancestors beyond those I had personally known. For the rest of them, they had been forgotten by their descendants in only three short generations. That all changed for me at Gettysburg. While standing near the angle, that clops of trees on Cemetery Ridge, where I could see in my mind's eye across that vast open field, those 12,500 Confederate soldiers standing shoulder to shoulder in a line of battle stretching a mile long. Pondering Pickett's charge, I wondered, was one of my grandfathers among them? If not a grandfather dressed in gray, maybe one of my grandfathers was there in blue with Joshua Chamberlain on Little Round Top when, out of ammunition, he ordered his men from Maine to fix bayonets before sounding the charge downhill in that famous swinging gate movement that saved the Union left. Forty days later, thanks to some late nights and findagrave.com, my family tree cemetery map looked like this. This map shows the locations of 58 cemeteries I found where my direct bloodline ancestors are buried from Sarasota, Florida, northward to Macon, Georgia. You too have a family cemetery map. Different, of course, but similar to this one. I traveled more than 12,000 road trip miles to as far north as Charlotte, North Carolina, to pay respects at more than 80 cemeteries. Carrying with me gallon jugs filled with water, scrub brushes, rakes, and trimmers, I cleaned the graves of 175 newfound grandparents, including Revolutionary War Patriot grandfathers. From this unique experience, I became aware of what's happening to historic cemeteries in America. Behind the scenes at each old cemetery, you'll find one aging survivor of the silent generation who's taken it upon themselves to shoulder the financial burden of caring for your ancestors. These incredible people between the ages of 70 and 94 are the last line of defense against nature and erosion at these old cemeteries.
these national historic treasures. To you special few who have been desperately holding on, hoping for the next generation to step up, my message to you is this, the cavalry is on its way. If you're watching this video, you are the cavalry, so mount up. I call on every American man, woman, and child to pay your small pro rata share of the annual cost to maintain the graves of your ancestors. Ten generations of your grandparents are buried in a hundred different graveyards scattered across a dozen states or more. If you aren't personally mowing a cemetery every week, then honor the sources of your DNA by contributing $10 or whatever amount is on your heart at honoryourdna.com. Our mission is to consolidate contributions into one large pool of money and then distribute that money to cemetery caretakers on the front line. As you can see, maintaining a cemetery isn't cheap at $6,000 or more per year, but the financial burden is minuscule per living person descended from someone buried in a given cemetery. I'll share the math in another video, but with literally hundreds of thousands of people connected to a cemetery by DNA matches, the cost per living person ranges from one cent to five cents per cemetery per year. It's not realistic to think every person will care enough about their ancestors to contribute a penny or a nickel. So that's why any amount from you is welcomed and respected. We've had contributions ranging from $5 to $500 and every dollar amount in between. Burial plot sales that once paid for cemetery maintenance have been wiped out by cremation. Without gravesite sales, old cemeteries have no source of income. The government does not take care of these historic cemeteries. Churches where these graveyards were consecrated were abandoned many years ago. The white wood frame structures literally rotting to the ground or gone entirely. The roof at the back of this church was peeled up and open to the back allowing rain to pour inside. Congregations at surviving historic churches have declined to only a few aging members. I've witnessed several churches where only one to three elderly members remain. Pioneer family burial grounds are bulldozed for development, plowed under by new owners, or consumed by trees and scrub. There's a higher purpose happening here. Our old cemeteries are collectively a 400-year-old American archaeological discovery hiding in plain sight. We're fascinated by Stonehenge, terracotta warriors, and Great Pyramids, but oblivious to the common denominator connecting most all of our ancestors. Their graves are facing east. They're all face up, feet toward the east, because your ancestors, these people who established the United States of America, were believers in Christ. Etchings on their headstones tell their collective testimony, asleep in Jesus, awaiting a glorious resurrection. In the red letters of Bible verse Matthew 24, 27, we find why our ancestors are all facing east. Jesus said, for as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. When Jesus returns in the East, a hundred million Christians buried all across America will simultaneously stand straight up in their graves, all facing East, to welcome the return of their Lord and Savior. These old cemeteries are sacred ground. They're God's ground. They are the ground that holds the sources of our very DNA, and it's disrespectful that we don't take better care of them. This initiative must be viewed from a national perspective but we have to start somewhere. We're going to fund the needs of old cemeteries located in and around Fort Myers, Florida first to demonstrate our vision of crowdfunding as the solution to maintaining old cemeteries in perpetuity. You don't have to live in Lee County, Florida to help us get this program up and running. Let's resolve the funding needs of our historic cemeteries. Visit honoryourdna.com right now. If you'd like to be a part of saving and improving our historic cemeteries, please make your contributions at honoryourdna.com. If you're the caretaker for a cemetery, please let us know who you are, the cemetery you care for, 
and the amount of money you need annually to pay for mowing, trimming, fencing, signage, benches, flagpoles, and headstone maintenance. I hope you'll share this initiative with friends and family and anyone you know who personally cares for a cemetery. Now build your family tree out to 1850. Search for each of your ancestors' names at findagrave.com. Plot your family tree cemeteries on a map. Take a road trip to where your ancestors are buried. You'll find them facing east.